Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, it's a little while since I've done a video, so apologies. Um, what we'll tie today is a generic March Brown style CDC done. Really nice and simple, um, just two or three ingredients. So, in the vise, we've got a standard dry fly hook. This one is a Barbless Hook Company. Uh, BHC 101. Uh, this is a size 12, so anything size 12 or 14 will be ideal depending on the brand of hook you're using. Thread, I'm going to use this uh, copper, uh, sorry, it's a rusty brown UTC. So go straight on there. So we'll come down, nice flat body, get to about there, we want to think about putting a tail in. So for a tail, I've just got this uh, grizzle cock feather here, mainly because it's easy to use and I've got loads of it. I've just ripped a few uh, barbules off there, off of that end, a couple of locking turns on top, that'll do. So I'll put one in underneath just to hold it nicely, come back down, and I'm going to leave, I'm going to cut this off quite high up here because we're not dubbing the body so we want to keep it fairly uniform if we can so we've got a fairly uniform body there and we can go back and tidy up so next thing we want to do is put a wing in um, you'll notice obviously a March Brown has a, a mottled wing um, sort of blacks, browns, creams um, I've tried to replicate that uh, the best way that I can. I don't think it's perfect, but I also don't think it actually matters at all. I just think it looks quite cool on the fly. Um, so the way I've done it is I've taken some black CDC and some sort of a grey heron sort of coloured CDC and I've sandwiched the black in between the grey. So what I've done is I've got two black feathers and then I've put a grey on either side of it. So four feathers in total. Obviously match the tips up, get a nice plume. And I'm going to offer that in there on top. Loose turn, locking turn couple in front. And then we want to trim this off a bit of an angle. Come in a bit tighter on that actually. Because we've got four feathers it's going to create quite a bump. But we are going to add a thorax in with the dubbing so we can mask that. So really all we want to do is just taper this down. So you can see it doesn't take much. Just bring that back up there. Now you've got a bit of a taper. So it's quite bulky up at the top end. But we don't need to worry about that at the minute. So then you want to come back to about where where you've created that bump with the feathers and we're going to put some dubbing in there, a little thorax so naturally I'm going to go with the uh, JW March Brown here just take a little pinch out feed that on nice 
wrap that up there. Another little pinch. I just want to build this up a little bit. I want to be able to brush it out a bit. And also we want to give that wing a little bit of protection. So I just I like to add a little and often just so I can control exactly what I'm doing with the dubbing where it's going. Then we'll go for one more pinch. This is just to make sure I get a nice cross over and back out in front. I'm just going to use my uh, dummy needle here to throw a little half hitch in. Right, I don't want to build up any kind of head or anything like that, so I'm not going to whip finish. I'm going to go in with some uh, head cement. My old favourite, a little, little bit on an old dubbing needle, just work it into that fibre and half hitch it, one, two, three for luck. That'll dry in a few seconds. Snip it away now. And then I'm just going to tease out a couple of the fibres with my dubbing needle. Doesn't have to be a lot. Tidy up where you need to, and there we have it. Very simple, very effective fly. Um, just a little lightweight CDC that'll imitate a March Brown hatch. Should you be lucky enough to encounter one, so give it a go. Let me know what you think, and uh, thanks for watching.